Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to perform different methods for linear regression, including the ordinary or the standard one, the ridge one, and then the lasso one. So from scikit-learn, we need to import the linear model. And then uh, here I need to create these uh, vectors using NumPy, although I can make them with the standard Python. And then I need to plot some graphs, so I need matplotlib. So here I create uh, two vectors, uh, x and y, and then I'm going to uh, create a, uh, an object for linear regression and then ridge and lasso using linear model dot linear regression dot ridge and dot lasso. Now for linear regression, you don't need to pass it any parameters. For ridge and lasso, you need the alpha which is basically the weight of your uh, regularization term. And then once you create these objects, you can apply dot fit, and then you have to pass to them X and Y, right? As you know, uh, this, uh, these methods are all basically supervised learning. You have to provide your um, targets. And then uh, the goal here is to uh, fit a, a linear function to them. While in the ridge and the lasso, you have an extra term in addition to some of the squared errors. You have an extra term which tries to reduce the uh, values of your uh, coefficients, specifically slope. And uh, it is uh, basically prohibiting uh, the calculations for larger coefficients, where here in Ridge we use the uh, square of the um, Euclidean norm. In Lasso we just use the uh, linear power, the power 1, so here you have a square root, and that's what makes this guy's equations to be uh, just solved with numerical solutions. These two have analytic solutions, this guy does not. You have to solve it numerically. I have a video on my channel under machine learning, and you can see that here, linear regression, ridge lasso, and then there is one that is a combination of ridge and lasso called elastic net. If you want to know about the theory behind it, feel free to watch that video. But if you want to know how to do it with scikit-learn, so as I said, this is how I did it. In that video, I use lambda instead of alpha, but this alpha is the same as that uh, weight lambda. And so uh, it gives you uh, some uh, basically outputs. For example, for linear regression, if I fit the model, then this regression one can give you this coefficient, coef underscore, and then intercept uh, underscore where this coef is the slope of the line and this intercept is the y-intercept. And similarly, you can get the same thing from lasso and ridge. So you get the coefficients of the line. The next thing is this coefficient of determination, r squared, which you can get it by the uh, dot score, and then you have to pass to it x and y. The closer this number is to 1, that means the uh, more perfect, the more accurate, uh, fitting you have done and that means your uh, data points are falling perfectly on the fitted line which typically does not happen in reality that this number is one so the the bigger it is the closer it is to one that means you have a better fit and then if you want to uh, project one of your x values or any of the x values onto this fitted line and get the uh, predicted or estimated y value, you can use dot predict for that object of uh, regularization, right, or curve fitting. So here I use the dot predict, I pass whole vector x to it, and it gives me what? The entire uh, y hat or all of the estimated y's. And then I repeat that, as I said, for ridge and lasso. And at the end, I'm going to use x data and these predicted values at x and plot it against the original x and y and see the difference. So let's go ahead and run. Okay, so before I just run it, I noticed that I was playing with this gain and I changed it to back to 100 so I can use the same uh, 
uh, wait for both rage and lasso and i guess now i can go ahead and run it so let's go ahead and run see what we get and uh yeah let me do it on a clean window so this is the result as you can see the standard one and the ridge are very close to each other and the lasso is quite a bit different the lasso has smaller slope compared to the other two but it has a bigger y intercept or bias and you can see that over here this slope is 0.47 this is 0.44 this is 0.13 on the other hand, the intercept is 4.6, this is 5.4, and this guy is 15. So absolutely, uh, you have what? You have a bigger intercept and smaller slope here. And then you have coefficient of determination, some of the squared errors, kind of proportional related to that. And you can see that here, um, your coefficient of determination here is 0.949, this is 0.946, they are close. But this guy, look how horrible it is. It's 0.45. So clearly, Lasso is messing it up, right? It is not doing a good job. And you can look at the prediction numbers. Here, the number is, is should be 6.5. This guy is 7.5. This guy is 8. But this guy is 16. So you clearly see that Lasso is doing a horrible job here. Okay, for that big of alpha. So maybe you should not really use that big of alpha for lasso maybe you just need to bring it down here and not allowing it to completely um, bringing the slope down significantly now you see that lasso and ridge are closed of course they are using different gains right uh, one is using 10 the other one is using 100 now if I change both of the gains to 10 make them similar and I run it again here you can see that that the green and red are almost identical and the black is getting very close to them okay so now your lasso numbers are making more sense and you see now your lasso is in terms of coefficient of determination is getting close to the other ones okay so now lasso is not that bad so clearly you don't want to use lasso with very large gains because the behavior of it changes significantly but for the ridge it is not as sensitive to this parameter right i used 100 it was a little bit different than a standard one i made it 10 it is much much closer now but still the difference is not super significant okay so lasso is definitely much more uh, sensitive to the parameter alpha Okay, so uh, hopefully you learn how to do basic uh, curve fitting in scikit-learn. You learn how to fit the model. You learn how to uh, use these different methods for each one, how to do a simple plot and compare and how to change the uh, important parameter. Thank you so much for your attention and I will see you in my next lecture. Thank you.